So we're about to do this week, Fox and Cactus week, because I was like trying to pull out a bunch of stickers that I wanted to use, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna use all of them. Not all of them, obviously I have a larger collection than this. I'm a very, very, very big fan of Fox and Cactus. As y'all may know. So I might have to pull out a couple of random things, but otherwise I think I'm pretty solid. Um, so so what I'm going to do is, is just get right on into it um, as I continue talking, I know. So let's go ahead and get started. So this week I am going to be using the April Mystery Kit and I have all of the extras in here, which the extras this month, month, month were a $5 glitter sampler, the brunch date, which I didn't go to, I mean technically, brunch and then the little like girls chilling. So there are those. There is one munchkin that I feel like I must use this week. So I'll get that out whenever we get closer. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think that the question, there's only like one question. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go ahead and spread these out because we know how this goes with me. Um, I think I only had one question to talk about for this week. And I think I had like a couple thumbs up. But the question was, how did I meet Jessica, Kirsten, and Elle? And I'll go through each one. So Jessica, well, I mean, I met all three of them on the internet, which is funny because I remember my parents, like their biggest rule was like, don't talk to people you meet on the internet, which I know times have changed since then. But I just think it's funny that like, pretty much three of my friends I met on the internet, like three of my like good friends I met on the internet. Um, but like, it's crazy. So Jess, and I met them all different ways, kind of. So Jessica, I met via blogging. So I used to beauty blog right now. It was, it was, it was a rough patch for me right there. Not really a beauty person, not good at it. So I really probably shouldn't have done it, but you know, we all live and we learn. So Jessica beauty blogged as well. And that's like whenever, like blogging, like typing stuff and taking pictures and like putting it all together, which is actually a lot of work. And I feel like it was sometimes more work than like filming a video, in my opinion. So we met via that and I actually looked recently and Jessica and I started talking in 2012 and I, I don't remember what month, but it was like later in 2012. And that was kind of how we started talking, which is, Super cool. Um, let me put your headers in. I'm a, a color block this out. So that's kind of like that. And then we just started talking via comments. And then I think she emailed me asking me to do like a banner for her because I did do like channel art on YouTube. I actually did. If you guys are like in the beauty, like watching beauty videos, I did do one of like when Laura Lee only had like 14,000 subscribers, I did her banner for her. Um, which is cool and I, I did banners for like all my friends and I did do like art for blogs like just like basic graphics like the logo and like things like that to match so I did that for a little and I did that for Jessica and then we just started talking from there and then we started texting and then I think we went the first time we met was at IMAS I think and then we went to BeautyCon together and we've hung out like a bazillion times since and she's moved here. Is that right? She she moved here to work for me, which is super cool. Cause like Jessica's so fun. And I just love her. She's a sweet girl. And that is the Jessica story. And then Kirsten's is kind of similar in the time frame. Kirsten and I, I think Kirsten subscribed to me in 2012 i don't know when i subscribed to her it's probably before that i think i think i subscribed to her first i'm not 100 sure we can figure that out eventually but um in the end of 2012 too so we've all kind of been friends like i've i've been friends with each of them for around the same amount of time and i mean 2012 that's what five years going on five years and it's crazy because i mean like even if you think like avery like i've been friends with kirsten since she's been pregnant and even that was like three years ago which is crazy and i only met kirsten for the first time whenever she was coming down to kind of like test the waters 
if she wanted to move down here. So that's that's the faith in our friendship right there. She was like, yeah, I'll move. I'm just gonna come and you know check out the area and make sure it's all cool. And they flew down for like a weekend and then they decided to move down here. So that worked out really well. And again, mean people on the internet that you're friends with for the rest of your life. And I'm Avery's god mom and I'm gonna I'm a keep her around forever because she's a sweet girl and I love her and she's so cute and I'm like obsessed with her because she's just the cutest baby ever. And I always tell Kirsten, I'm like, I don't know if my baby's gonna be as cute as your baby. It's gonna be really hard because Avery's like model status and has looked cute since she was like birthed. So I don't know, we're gonna see. So that is the Kirsten story. Obviously there's a lot in the middle of all these stories of like many, many years of chatting, obviously, since I only met Kirsten two years ago. And I think I met Jessica probably like three and a half years ago, four years ago. So it's, it's a, been a long time, long time, lots of memories. So there is that, did I get done already? I guess I'll do my sidebar. And then for Elle, I started talking to Elle in February of not last year, but the year before that. So it's been, was it? Yeah. It's been like two and a half years, almost. I'm gonna use the SPC Cafe, obviously, because this is the cutest box, because I'm biased up here but um yeah i've been talking to l for like two and a half years and she had posted on i don't know i think it was like t what am i doing with these i'm gonna put you back i think she was on twitter or something that would like she was like getting into planning and like a bunch of people tagged me like to her and then i was like yo if you want stickers like let me know i i like uh hook you up because i used to watch l like many many years ago and blair and i don't know what i'm looking for oh the habit trackers and then she messaged me back and then we exchanged emails and talked well we talked via twitter no i don't think we talked we didn't talk through emails uh we talked via twitter for a little and then we exchanged phone numbers and we talked via text for a while and then the first time i met her was i went to california i think and last year, I think we hung out, like, I think every month for, like, a year. And um, our boys love each other because they're very, very similar. And I think that's pretty much everything. And we're still friends. I haven't seen Elle in almost a year, which I told her this recently. I was like, yo. But we both lead some busy lives. And she lives in California, so that's the way it goes. Um, but that is, I believe, everything, and those are, pro like, I have, I mean, my other, like, best friend would be Brie, and Brie I have known for forever. I've known her probably about since the seventh grade, so 10, 11, 12, like, a little over 12 years. I didn't actually like Brie a lot at first, she was kind of mean to me, and she'll, like, admit that she was mean to me. Her and my, my friend Lottie, which I ended up being friends with Lottie before I was friends with Brie. But they were not very nice to me. They're just like, I don't know, clicky. And then like two years after that, we were like best friends. So that's the way it goes. So I'm going to do YouTube here. And Brie's like, Brie's my homie. I love her so much. She's such a sweet girl. And she's like one of those friends that like... I feel like there's different kinds of friends and like it's important to have like different kinds of friends and I think everybody has different kinds of friends. We're like Brie, like I don't have to talk to Brie for like six months. Like we've gone like six, eight months without talking and then like you just pick up like nothing ever happened because I feel like Brie for me is a lot like my sister because I've known her for forever and she knows like literally everything about me. There's stuff that Brie knows that I feel like no one else knows and she just knows me like like the back of my sleeve because she's my she's my boo i love her and i'm so excited for her to get married and that's been like my main thing that i've been talking to my doctor about like i asked her um when i first got pregnant i was like i know i read online that like you're gonna say no but like can i travel at eight months pregnant because i'm gonna be like eight months eight months and two days for brie's wedding which is funny because Bree's wedding was actually supposed to be on my due date, which is insane and like crazy, like out of all the days, like not like a day before or a day after or like a week of the day of my due date 
which is October 7th, was supposed to be Brie's wedding, but her venue wasn't open, which works out perfectly. It's like it was meant to be. Like, I believe in fate, guys. I do believe in fate for the littlest things, you know? So, I asked her, I was like, so can I go? And she was like, yeah, you can go as long as you're not on bed rest and you're not having any early labor terms. You're not, you know, dilated at all or you're not having any complications. You should be fine to travel, which was, like, really surprising. And I'm kind of like you for real but at the same time whatever i'm not gonna argue with her and i asked her again recently and i was like so are you still sticking to that and she was like yeah so i was like all right well works for me so i'm gonna go ahead and put in my little things i don't even have my phone near me to put in like tv shows I'm putting tv shows i mean i'm putting tv shows on it right now I should probably go grab that but i didn't even mention before that this was like an extremely fun week for me because i had a lot of stuff going on so Let's go ahead and do the little things first and then we'll get on into it. So the first thing that I want to put in here is a meal little thing. And then I had one TV show on, which was Jane the Virgin, which I say every week is like literally my favorite show ever. I think this and Scandal as of like right now on what's on TV are the most addictive for me. And then I don't think that there's anything else that I wanted to put in here. So I'm going to go on to the next day. So on Tuesday, I had food. And then I have two little things. I should probably put them down before trying to peel up another one because my fingers don't work that way. And then I had Pretty Little Liars was on and the Mick was on, which I, again, I don't think I'm watching Pretty Little Liars till it's like done. And then on the third, I had Speechless and Modern Family. Let me just put it down first. This is going to be such a cute kid. I know it. I just absolutely know it. Modern Family is probably my favorite, like, comedy TV show. I guess, like, no, I think technically, let me check. I'm pretty sure Jane the Virgin is technically a drama, like a comedy drama. It doesn't say what the genre is. Show details. It doesn't say. I don't want to search for it. My tattoo is like itchy. That's weird. Okay, so then on Thursday, just I have a lot of TV shows on this week. On Thursday, we need me a little thing, which this week I was, I mean, like, just like ever since the second trimester, I've been on a real like cook your own food kick. And like whenever I was in Europe, I felt disgusting. I'm really trying, I'm gonna try and like modify my eating habits in Disney. Like, I know I'm gonna wanna like eat like, Something that I'm like, oh, this is going to be the best thing off of the menu. But I know that, like, if I eat something that I'm like, oh, this is going to be so great. Is this right? No. Yeah. And, like, super exciting. I don't have enough to eat little things. We'll just switch to what's it called. So then I have um, Shark Tank and Toy Box this day. That, like, I'll feel sick afterwards. And also, I don't think I've mentioned, but I've been having really bad, like, acid reflux slash like heartburn for anything with tomatoes like tonight we went to, oh no tonight we went to jack allen which is like one of my favorite restaurants in, in austin it's really good i think there's three locations and it's just like really good like farm to table so good um like fresh and i got the soup and i didn't really think to ask if it was like tomato based and i like I got, I looked at it and I was like, this definitely has like tomatoes in it, but I think it was like beef broth, but like, I don't know if there's like mixed tomatoes in it, but, and then I also had a sloppy jack, which is like a sloppy joe, but adult. And like, I sometimes try and get a salad, but like, I haven't had one in a while and sloppy joes are like, have always been my, my like thing. Like ever since I was a little kid, like, you know, my parents would always ask me on my birthday, what do you want to eat for your birthday? And I'd always say, I want sloppy joes and tater tots. Cause I'm like super original. And then you know, that's just like my favorite like meal. I feel like I ate it all the time. And this is like a very like, like mastered Sloppy Joe, you know, it's like out of this world. Like if you ever add a Jack Allen and you like Sloppy Joes, you need to get it. And the thing is, is Nick doesn't like Sloppy Joes at all. Did I have anything else that I needed to put in here? Probably. We're just gonna leave it, I think. Um, actually, let's put in, I got my Erin Condren the Wednesday, so I'll put in a little boxer. Um, so what was I saying? I hate this. I always, like, forget what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. Well, 
Oh, oh, but Sloppy Joe's just real, real good. And Nick doesn't like Sloppy Joe's at all. Like, if I make him, he's, like, real mad. And, like, same thing with soup. He hates soup. Unless it's, like, a cream-based or a stew. He doesn't like, like, chicken noodle soup. He loathes it. And I love chicken noodle soup. And I don't even need, like, noodles. I just want, like, all broth. Um, but, and he loves the Sloppy Jack. But, like, anyways, so I ate it and I, like... I was like, I know I'm going to regret this later, but I didn't realize how much I was going to regret it later. And I ate that, like, I ate, it's 11.39 now p.m. And I ate it at, like, 4.45. I ate dinner very early. I know. I'm crazy. Um, but I still feel like poop. It's disgusting. And I, I felt the same way when I ate pizza. I felt the same way, like, when I eat anything with tomatoes on it. I don't know. It's not fun. That's completely wrong. Did I mess something up somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I did. This is what happens like when I talk, pretty much. And I didn't even put the right little. Let me just uh, let me just take a second to to collect myself here. And I'm sure you guys were like, Andrea, you're just losing it. I felt so bad. So like, I, I like try hard not to make any mistakes like when working. But like, this is how like bad my brain's been is I shipped out the three year, three year bundle things on, what did I ship those? Oh, I'm looking at this last week like it was this week. I shipped them four days ago, I think, four days ago, yeah. And for some reason I was sitting in bed tonight like designing something and I was like, oh my goodness, somebody had requested for me to change their their address and I totally forgot. And I don't even know how I remembered that. I don't even, like, how did I like, how did I come up with that? I don't know. So I like messaged them and I was like, I'm gonna send you another one. Um, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know where my brain's at, but I don't know like, first of all, how I missed it because that's something that I'm like super adamant about making sure that I correct. And then second of all, how like four days after shipping it, it was just randomly popped in my mind that I like forgot to do that. And I was just felt so embarrassed. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. Um, let me get my stuff together again. Okay, so that is all of the little things. So let's go ahead and, okay, so day by day. All right, on Monday, I'm going to, I'm gonna put in ha uh, full boxes because like otherwise I'm not going to remember to do it. I kind of wanna work backwards, but I just don't think that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the full box in here. Um, so pretty much this day, I went to work. So I'm gonna grab a flag. I think I'm gonna use the solid ones just because I feel like between the pattern box and the glitter that the solid ones are going to look a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a solid flag for work. I did bring out the little Fox and Cactus Planner Girls, the spring ones, because I think they're really cute and they match pretty well. So there is that. And then also this day I did pick up my car, which it's a really funny story because we did get in a car accident towards the end of the week, but I'll tell that story when it comes because like I... I think someone said I roasted Nick, which was like 100% true, is he backed out of the garage. And I always tell them like, Nick, make sure like when you're backing out of the garage, you pay attention to the mirrors all the time. And when I was in New York, he called me and was like, hey, you're gonna be really mad. And I was like, oh, great. And he always, he always kind of like makes things sound worse, I think, so that I don't get as mad. But I mean, I was still pretty mad that he busted my mirror, which was just not super cool of him. But we just got that fixed and we had picked it up on Monday and now we have to take my car back because the whole back end's like messed up. So I'll get to that then because that was on Thursday. So this day, what did I do? So this day was Jessica's birthday Eve. And as I've deemed it now, that is my holiday with Jessica is going to be her birthday Eve just because that's what I said. And she was like, okay. And I was like, cool. Cause she's definitely going to be here next year for her birthday because she loves me. So there is that. So we went to see the Fast and Furious, which was really, really exciting. And then we also went to dinner, which was super duper fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put in that with a half box. We were going to go to this place of the domain, but we didn't have enough time because I think we were chatting too long. So we ended up going to this place that was like up in Cedar Park and I think I'm going to use the, this all the way up. And it ended up being really, really good. It was like a taco place. I don't remember what it was called. I'm pretty sure it's on her Instagram though. And it was really good. 
and very tasty. So for that, I think I'm going to use the little like clinking glasses girl from this Fox and Cactus sticker. I think this was a New Year's or just like a party one. I don't know. I think it might have been New Year's related, but I'm not 100% sure, but I put that in there. So that was really fun as well. And then also this day I did list the two year bundle. So I think for that, I'm going to go ahead and do the little label here just because I barely ever use these and I think they're so cute. So I'm going to put that in there and then I'm just going to do the little balloon icon on there. Adorable. And then on, or oh, and else the, yes, I think that's everything. Yes. Okay. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to grab another full box. I don't know how to fill these full boxes on here, but they're so pretty. So I want to use them all. Maybe this kit I'll use in a personal spread as like a like extra stuff, like how to use a kit extras in your personal. So on this day, a lot of it, I can just put in this, yes. So I'm gonna put this one in because I really love this one, I don't wanna cover up too much. So on this day, I went, we went, all went to lunch together, we went to Velvet Taco, which is at the Domain, which is really good. I actually went to go there today for lunch, but there was like 30 people outside in line. So I was like, I can only imagine like what the inside looks like. So I think for that, well, first I have to put in that I went to work this day for Jessica's birthday, which I also need to put in Jessica's birthday. But I'm going to do the little clinking glasses icon in here. And then for that, I'm going to grab a quarter box. Obviously, it needs to be glitter because it's Jessica. And I'm just gonna do the one that matches the header and layer it over top of the header so she's her birthday is right on top. And then for that, I'm going to use one of these little birthday girls. I do have the blonde haired ones, but they're purple dresses and I feel like purple obviously would not go with this spread. So we're gonna do the one of the, the girl with the crown on eating cake because I feel like that's probably the closest to Jessica because it has a crown and she would definitely appreciate that. Unless there's glitter and then she'd appreciate it more there's not glitter so that's what we're gonna have to do so then I'm gonna put in my little girl for working and then this was also $2 Tuesday so did I have a $2 Tuesday yesterday? I'm pretty sure I did so I'm just gonna put in which I'll, I feel like any of these pinks would work maybe I'll put this up here actually covering this heart it's the perfect size to cover the heart $2 Tuesday and then I need to do payroll this day, which is fine. Uh, two year bundle was this day. I worked on the two year, I always do this. I worked on the two year bundle listing this day. I'm just gonna leave it because it's fine by now. Um, and then this day I s designed all of the, the June mystery. Is that right? June mystery. What month is it? May, June, yes. Because they're already cutting it now. So, I'm gonna do a half box for a design day. I don't think I brought out anything for design day, but I'm sure I can think of a little something, something to put in there. I'm gonna use a pattern box, just because I have a solid box like right next to it, and then I'm just gonna use a piece of solid washi in there. Again, I can't find anything. I need like a bigger desk. I'm gonna just grab this piece here. Let me get it up to the right angle in there. Like so. And then for the design day, I thought I ordered something recently with computers. I might be dreaming. But maybe for this, I'll just use one of these little like these i feel like these are so cute because you can use them for anything and they're like little emotion faces and i think i'm gonna do the little heart eyes because i absolutely love june mystery look at all these little character girls they look so cute together all just hanging out i'm really loving it and then we're gonna move on to wednesday so this day was just a lot of like at home stuff um this day i did design an order which i'm going to do the little money sign i ordered new shirts and hoodies for the spc squad they're super cute they're coming this week when i'm gone i also filmed my erin condren unboxing what box do i use to stick because i could probably use one that i don't want to cover use the girl taking a picture of her her drink oh one of these would have been cute for the day jessica and i like hung out but probably wouldn't have fit very well so I'm gonna put that in there. And then, like I said, I did film my unboxing, which I feel like could kind of deserve a half box just because 
it's definitely something that I look forward to as like a yearly thing is filming my unboxing. So I'm gonna just put in the little icon in here, the little film icon. This day I also went to Target. So for that, I'm just gonna put in a little shopping cart icon in here, like so. And then what else? I painted my nails. Let's just do another icon. No, I don't wanna do another icon. Let's do, Actually, I'm gonna just kind of put it all together on like a paint nails and took a bath kind of thing. So I'm just gonna use a glitter quarter box. Or do I wanna use an appointment label? I use an appointment label. Actually, I feel like I don't use appointment labels enough. So I'm gonna get a little piece of patterned washi. I'm gonna use the stripe. I think that should be enough, even though that's all white pretty much besides the top little bar. And then put that in there. And then I do have little bath stickers from Fox and Cactus. I think I took them out. I didn't know if I wanted to use the lush ones or the bath ones, but I think I'm going to use the black bath ones. There's ones with wine, which I don't know if there was ones without wine, but I don't drink, so I don't think I'll use those. But I can always use like all of the like book reading ones, even though I don't read in the bathtub either. I'm too afraid of like getting things wet. Um, and then I could pass them on to someone else. Camera totally cut out of me. So on Thursday, I did go to work again this day. So I'm gonna grab a flag from here. Sticky flags. All right, flag and then a little girl here, which was the last day I went into work because I left. And then this day I had to, actually let me just put in the little boxes here. So, oh, so much going on. I definitely want to use this, but I think that it'll do best on Saturday and Sunday because we did a lot, but it's not a lot to like write in, I don't think. So I do want to use, I mean, maybe I'll just, oh, I kind of want to use one of these though. Maybe I can put this on this day. And then do this one on Sunday. Because Kirsten and I did spend like a whole day together on Sunday. I think that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to do, for this day, I'll do this one. Yeah. Because I'm probably going to cover. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put this kind of in the middle. So let's just start from the top. So this day... I wanted to put in that I binge watched most of Girl Boss, which is a Netflix show. And I thought it was really good. I don't know what episode I'm on, but I watched a lot of it while I worked. So, killed two birds with one stone there. And I really liked it. I like the kind of like little cute things they do. Like if you guys watched it with the, like the hate, I don't know the hater group, but like, the form online where they're like talking about, um, I don't remember what her name is. I'm like the horse with character names, but the main character talking about her and like the like little form setup. I thought that was really, really clever. Um, so I liked Girl Boss. I need to finish it though, and I'll finish it one day at work probably. And then also this day I needed to pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a quarter box for that. Pack for Vegas, which is super exciting. It's been the last time I go to Vegas for quite a while now. I feel like I've been to Vegas in the past couple of years a bunch of times. It's a cheap flight. Usually the hotels are fairly inexpensive and there's always a ton of things to do. And I don't even drink or like, I don't even really like gambling that much. I like usually spend like 20 bucks, but like on gambling just to do it, just to say I did it. And then other than that, I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm gonna do this little packing girl here. And then the last thing on this day is we got rear-ended. We were on our way home from work. We stayed late this day, which we usually try and leave work early because we live um, like the river, not the river, the city is between work and us because we live south of the city, work is above the city. So we try and leave at a relatively decent time um, just because the traffic is horrendous. And I mean, it can double from whenever, if we leave earlier to if we leave later, but we left Later, I think we left at like six or seven, um, which the traffic's were real bad then. And we got rear-ended. There was a girl behind us and she was in a car. We were thankfully not in Nick's car. We were in my car, which is more of like a large SUV, like 
solid. And Nick's card has been so messed up. But um, I want to use one of these Fox and Cactus stickers. I don't really have a purpose for these, but like this is what I need them. So I'm going to just put this like here. And she was, there was an accident on the, like, okay, there's a two lane road and we're both going this way. And then she was behind us and then we were in front of her and there was an accident over here. This police officer and a car and she was rubbernecking looking at the accident and didn't pay attention that Nick was completely stopped in front of her and she was not even stopping at all. And she just like ran into the back of us and my seatbelt locked. And then also my like headrest like popped. Like, I don't know if that was like a safety feature, but it like disconnected and then like the plate of our like stereo system fell off and then the back of our car like has scrapes on it the bumpers all like bent in but her car was like real messed up thankfully no one was hurt but I was like super mad and like she kind of was like I had a lot of things to do today and I was like do you think that I wanted to get an accident today and I'm pregnant and I like called my doctor and I was like crying and I was like just nervous like I I wasn't crying until I called my doctor and then like I was on the phone with my doctor and I was like crying because I was like if something's wrong with this baby I'm gonna be so so sad and like it was like way more than that but like it was an emotional day for me and I was just not like I don't know I mean you're never in the zone to obviously get hit but like it was not it was just I don't know I, I haven't gotten in a car accident ever the only car accident I've ever been in was with a deer and I mean I really couldn't like couldn't get him out of the deer because he was dead so wasn't super thrilled that day and that time I totaled a van and I was by myself and like now I'm afraid of like driving pretty much from that so that was fun and I didn't get hurt then either so thankfully but I mean I'm glad everyone's okay but at the same time I really wish she was paying attention when she was driving instead of looking at what was going on behind her but you live and you learn hopefully so then I'm going to use one of these I'm just going to put in the full boxes just so I can kind of keep it in but whew, had the feels there had the feels there and thankfully, also, the, since she was rubbernecking at an accident, there was a cop right there, so he saw everything, so it was, like, really cool that, like, he was there, and we didn't have to wait forever for him to get there, and, like, super easy. We were in and out, like, real fast, so it worked out very well. And then I'm going to do a brunch date for, which day did Nick and I go to the buffet by ourselves for brunch? I think it was Saturday morning, so I'm just going to use the gold one. And I'm going to put that up top. I forgot to put in my new release sticker. I'm kind of jumping all over the place just because I feel like the weekend is like, oh, it's a $2 Tuesday sticker. I need flight stickers. Whoop! That would have been bad. I'm going to put a bottle over here. So I'm going to put in the new release sticker, which these are going to be in the kits now, which I'm super excited about. And then also a flight sticker. So I think I'm going to use, I'll use the lighter pink just to switch it up from using that darker pink. And I'm just going to stick this down here. I don't think we did anything else on Friday. We went to like a buffet, but our flight got delayed like two hours. So we didn't really do anything else. Not that I don't, I don't know if we would have otherwise, but go ahead and put that in there. Just all hung out. And then on Saturday, oh, this is also payday too. So let me put in this little money icon here. Oh, I could use this for like a design day. I'll remember it next time, hopefully. And then on Saturday, my camera's overheating. Also, sorry if I'm like going like really, really fast today. I think I'm just in the zone. So Saturday is also my pregnancy like rollover date, I guess. So for that, I'm just gonna do a quarter box up here. And this week I was 18 weeks, which is crazy because I filmed these like a week back. So this week, as in tomorrow, as in today, I'm 19 weeks. And the next week I'm technically halfway there, even though technically I could be halfway there right now. And for that, I think I'm just going to use the little like smiley face, just like right in the center. Just cause I think that's cute. And then down here, the two main things that Kirsten and I did this day, like Brian and um, Nick had their own like couples weekend. And then Kirsten and I had our own couples weekend. So I think for, the first thing that we did, which was like a big chunk of the day. So Brian and Nick went to, did a helicopter ride for the Grand Canyon. And they also went to Penn Teller. Kirsten and I did the pool and then we went to see Magic Mike, which was amazing. And if you're in Vegas and that's something that you're interested in, I highly, I highly suggest that. So I'm going to do a, I don't know if I want to use it actually. 
I'm gonna do a quarter box. No, appointment label? Hmm. Appointment label for the pool, I think. Yeah. Appointment label for the pool. And then I'm gonna use one of these cute pool stickers, the one with the little unicorn. It was so nice just to chillax. It was like warm and then we'd get in the pool, we'd cool down and then we'd get out and then like re like get warm and it was so nice. I could have done it for like all day. And then for Magic Mike, I'm just going to use a solid box with a little piece of washi behind it. I'm gonna use the polka dot washi. Yeah, Magic Mike was super fun, just saying. We went to Thunder Down Under last time we went and I feel like Magic Mike was like a thousand and ten times better. So if you're debating between the two, definitely go for Magic Mike just because I feel like it was it was way more appealing, if that makes any sense. And then also on Sunday, we went to the aquarium and we went shopping. Kirsten and I went shopping while Nick and Brian did the Grand Canyon. I think they did that that day. So we did like, we walked like a lot that day, Kirsten and I. We were like into it that day. We were like getting it done. So I think for that, I'm gonna use, I don't think I brought out any shop. Oh, I have a shopping munchkin. So for that, I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use a glitter one. I'm gonna use a half box. So I don't really have an aquarium sticker. So I'm just gonna use a half box and a piece of washi. I'll use the polka dots. All I have left is this like thick piece, which probably should have saved it. If I was doing a personal spread, but whatever. And then I do have the little shopping munchkin, which is oh so appropriate. And then other than that, we did the aquarium, which I really don't have anything for an aquarium. I really like aquariums though. Nick and I are a big fan of like aquariums and zoos as far as like, just like, we like like chill activities. So I think for that, we'll just use the little, pop paw prints don't really make sense for fish though. They will today, so I'm gonna use a little paw print. So that is everything for this week. Super fun week in Vegas, and last time I'll be in Vegas for quite a bit, but it was a good last trip. So I hope you guys like this spread. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have left, and I'll definitely, since I have so much left for this, um, especially full boxes, I think, what did I have? Like, I have a bunch of full boxes left. Cause I have that one, I have this one, and then I have these three. I'll definitely do a personal spread with this soon. And I'm not even gonna use any of the deco, I don't think. Actually, I'll use a little bit of it. No, my camera's not overheating yet. So I have quite a bit left. Especially with the mystery kits, it's $30 plus shipping, but you get like the extras and then the post-its. So I mean, it's kind of a pretty good deal. And I, I love the mystery kits. I put a lot of like thought into what I'm gonna put in them because I wanna make sure that I'm doing something that pretty much everyone will like. And I know a lot of people said that um, if they don't like them, they don't really have a problem selling them usually on like a marketplace. On Facebook, there's lots of, if you guys even like wanna look to buy um, any like sticker kits secondhand, which I mean, usually get like a pretty good deal and they usually have like a ton of them on the Facebook groups, like where people do like these stashes and stuff, all their different stickers. I would definitely look into that. Or if you have some sticker kits that you want to sell, I would look into that because there's always somebody looking for kits, especially like ones that have sold out. So I would definitely look into that, but I love mystery kits and June is like so pretty. If you love this one, you're gonna love June. So I hope you guys like this spread. It was very, very, very fun to do. I think it turned out really pretty and I'm just really, really excited for the rest of May. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.